Well, good morning, and welcome to the fringes of Morecambe Bay. And today, we're going to go up the outline fell of Humphrey Head. <clears throat> and, uh, yeah, I'll tell you what Wainwright has to say about it a little bit later on. But probably one of the most unusual outline fells. So let's go. Well, we've finally got Humphrey Head underfoot now. It's taken uh, an hour and about two and a half miles from Grange where I was dropped off by the bus. But uh, all worth it, as I'm sure you'll see. All the ash trees in the wood here are suffering from ash dieback. It's affecting such a lot of the trees here in the South Lakes. Uh, looks like we've got some uh, bovine company guarding the gate. They're not wanting to move. It's too hot. I don't blame them. Some cows almost look intelligent. And that's the top of Humphrey Head. Now, of course, interesting to know why Wainwright included Humphrey Head. As he says in his chapter in the Outline Fells, in no way can Humphrey Head be considered an outline fell. I think he just thought it was too good to miss out. And it's very unusual in that it's a long finger of rock that sticks out into Morecambe Bay. Which in itself is uh, an amazing thing. It's like a, a sea and sand desert when the tide goes out. And today we can really see it in full effect. So Humphrey Head and I have quite a bit of history. It's the first place I ever came while camping, on my own so to speak, with a couple of schoolmates, and we camped down at the bottom there, with the primary uh, objective of uh, fishing a night tide. In those days there was none of the grass that you can probably see. There was a very deep channel ran under the bottom of uh, Humphrey Head here. I also came here with my cousins and uncle fishing and uh, in the 1980s I used to come down here scrambling on the rocks and uh, climbing up the cliff and on one night I climbed up the cliff and I was sat on the edge watching some hang gliders and they'd not been up long and one of them crashed back into the top of the cliff. I was on my motorbike and I had to run back down the cliff, get on the motorbike and I rode it down to the uh, outward bound centre at the far end of the head and they called for an ambulance and I waited there and came up with the ambulance men and helped carry him back to the ambulance. So I think what I'll do now, I'll put the drone up and then you can get an overview of Humphrey Head.
and there we see it uh, as it disappears down into the sand and the end of Humphrey Head when you see trees bent like that it's not too difficult to see which way the wind comes from in this case the west Hopefully on the drone footage you've seen the cliffs where the last wolf in England was killed. Another of uh, Humphrey Head's claim to fame. And uh, I'm nearly back at the top before I drop down and walk back around to uh, Grange and pick the bus up. So I hope you've enjoyed this video of the outline Wainwright fell. Humphrey Head. I'd just like to say thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. <laughs>